for the men's sprint in the earlier rounds of the competition. So those were last year's champions. Some will have a chance for a medal this year, others uh, will not. That's uh, the way the uh, competition, of course, uh, progresses. And we've seen uh, the new generation of riders, riders who've gone on from being junior champions to uh, step up to senior level. And uh, some uh, great new names on the uh, top of the rankings. There's Katie Marchant of Great Britain, who, of course, was the uh, bronze medalist in the Olympic Games in the sprint in Rio in 2016. She's in the uh, women's Kieran competition this afternoon. Great Britain, uh, by their high standards, perhaps a uh, slightly disappointing medal tally for them at the moment. So Katie March will be hoping uh, that she can uh, make amends in the uh, women's career this afternoon. There's Stephanie Morton, saw her a few moments ago. She's now uh, on the turbo trainer or the rollers just to uh, get herself finally uh, honed and ready to go. And there is our track centre. First event on the track, 22 riders scheduled to take the start in the women's points race final. Well, of course, uh, they've ridden a point race already during the course of the Omnium competition. There were, of course, Kirsten Wilde came out uh, once again as the winner of the uh, women's Omnium title. She will start as a hot favourite here this afternoon without question. She's in uh, imperious form once again at the uh, World Championships this year. Already with uh, the uh, Madison, the Omnium title. So you just... Uh, Slipped in the scratch race, only able to take silver in the uh, scratch race final for the women. And that was the uh, first gold medal uh, for Great Britain in these uh, championships when Eleanor Barker beat her to the line in that one. Uh, Jolene Dorp, another rider to uh, uh, think about in uh, the competition as well. She was uh, third in that women's uh, scratch race final. But, uh, the interest of Belgium in this one, represented by her uh, Madison partner, Lotto Kopecky. So our rundown of riders involved in this competition on the screen for you. Jennifer Valente, we mentioned also in our introduction, she was last year's silver medalist. Last year's bronze medalist, uh, not with us, so there will uh, definitely be an opportunity for a new, at least one new name on the podium here this afternoon. Ireland represented by Lydia Boylan, uh, a multiple Irish road race champion, also the Omnium champion of Ireland as well. So it will be 100 laps of the track. That's our outside view, and uh, sun shining on the uh, Arena Pruskov, but uh, a little chilly. We had one or two little snow flurries yesterday as we were coming into the venue, but uh, avoided that today so far. But, uh, a little chilly outside, 25 degrees inside of the track, as you saw. And the uh, face of uh, a well-known gentleman down there, Sir Chris Hoy, world champion, Olympic champion, sprint Kieran. 100 metres, uh, a kilometre even, and uh, working with our, one of our broadcasting colleagues down there in the track centre. But on the track, there's Kirsten Wilde, 36 years of age now, Kirsten Wilde, but uh, has been no diminishing in her prowess on the boards of the tracks around the world and indeed on uh, the uh, roads as well. Great road rider as well, Kirsten Wilde, taking victory in the uh, Ride London event on the streets of the City of London in Great Britain uh, in uh, July of last year. Mario Giulia Compagnieri of Italy. She was uh, third in the Madison titles last year. And is the European points race champion. So she's another rider who is uh, looking for good performance. Uh, coincidentally, winning that European championship inside the Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome in Glasgow in August of last year. For Germany, we have uh, Charlotte Becker. Charlotte taking that bronze medal in the point race in the World Cup round, the opening round of the World Cup in Paris last year. Jennifer Valente, last year's silver medalist from the United States of America. She's also the uh, Team Pursuit champion on two occasions and uh, her best performance in the uh, distance races so far in the uh, World Cup. Bronze medal in the uh, scratch race in uh, Milton in Canada. Lato Kopecki, we mentioned, a uh, rider from Belgium in this race. Kopecki, the uh, Madison partner of uh, Jolien Dor. To move down the line, Poland have uh, another opportunity perhaps to snatch a medal out of the championship. Nicole Plosash is the uh, rider here, twice a Polish Madison champion. He was uh, also a winner of the uh, Polish Team Pursuit title last year and second the Polish Road Race Championships. So, we are underway, 100 laps of the track, sprints every 10 laps, five three, two and one are the points awarded at the end of each of those sprint laps. And of course, uh, on the final lap, double points available for the uh, first 
four riders across the line. And uh, certainly the women's Omnium point race final. That uh, double point score was critical to the outcome. Kirsten Wild taking the win, but it was a small margin ahead of uh, her nearest challenger in that uh, women's Omnium competition, uh, Liti Pantanosta of Italy. Italy represented by uh, Mario Giulia Confagnieri in this point race final. So the uh, gun has fired, the race is underway. It is uh, Belarus who immediately uh, take a position on the uh, front of the bunch. Belarus. Uh, Ina Savenka, runner-up in that European point race final in Glasgow last year. First major focus, of course, will be sprint number one, which is eight laps away, two kilometres. Always uh, good to get uh, some uh, points in your particular score sheet in the early part of a uh, long race like this one. And of course, coming on the fifth day of competition here, most of these riders have been involved in uh, numerous other championships during the uh, course of the five days of these world titles. So, uh, tiredness and fatigue will begin to be a little bit of a factor, perhaps one or two of the riders. It just depends how well rested you can be, and uh, of course, the nerves also begin to jangle a little bit. This is by uh, no means anything other than a world title, gold medal, rainbow jersey. Those rainbow stripes will be with you for the rest of your cycling career. Jennifer Valente on the front for the United States. Well, she would dearly win to, uh, love to win this one to improve on her second place and the silver medal from 12 months ago. The coach is down there in the back straight. Mechanics as well, just in case Ryder has a mechanical problem. They can actually uh, come out of the race for up to 1.3 kilometers, just about five laps of the track, to get a mechanical difficulty rectified. Our starter, who we pointed up to you uh, in our introduction sequence, uh, Svetlana Denisenko from uh, the Russian Federation, has another key role in a race like this. She'll be uh, pointing at the riders who are what we call the head of the race. So if an attacking move goes off the front, those are the riders who are leading the race. And if a lap gain is about to be made, from which you'll get a 20-point bonus, and then uh, she'll indicate when that lap gain happens, and the new head of the race will then become uh, the next chasing group on the track. So, uh, we're three laps away from the first sprint. And uh, if you weren't looking at the lap board and couldn't work that out or our on-screen graphic, the fact that uh, Kirsten Moyle has begun to make her presence felt towards the front of the bunch here is an indication that uh, she would definitely like to uh, get her account opened in this first sprint. The defending champion, of course. She was uh, third in Hong Kong in 2017 as well. So uh, not off the podium in quite a few years here. Nia Evans riding for Great Britain, the uh, European Team Pursuit champion. Good uh, third place finish in the uh, Omnium in uh, Paris, the opening uh, leg of the UCI Track Cycling World Cup for the 2018-2019 season. There's the belt, first sprint opportunity, and it is uh, indeed uh, the rider from Great Britain, Nia Evans, who is leading this one out. And uh, Evans with five points uh, for the taking, if she can stay clear here. Wild is uh, trying to come from further back here. On the line is going to be uh, Great Britain, Australia, Poland, and uh, Wild for one point for the Netherlands in fourth place. So Nia Evans takes that. Alexandra Manley of Australia gets second place. Nicole Plonsash for Poland gets third, and Kirsten Wild fourth place. So those are the points, five, three, two, and one for the first four riders across the line. And uh, you can imagine the delight of the uh, Polish crowd here with inside uh, the uh, Pruskov Arena. They desperately want to make an impression on the medal table at their home championships here. So, uh, running out of opportunities, but uh, Nikol Plaszczak making a great start to this uh, point race. Twice a Polish Madison champion and uh, silver medalist in the Polish road race championships last year as well. She, like uh, quite a few of the riders in the uh, longer endurance uh, races, split their racing between uh, the track and the road as well. So, following that sprint, the pace has slackened a little bit here. No sign of anyone, uh, any uh, intent to try and move away for a lap gain yet. Andrea Volles comes to the front for uh, Switzerland, the Swiss points and Madison champion. Former UCI junior mountain bike champion back in 2012 as well, Andrea Volles in Switzerland. One long line of riders, Spain swinging off the uh, front of the group as well. Uh, Ryan from Spain just drifting back is in the uh, yellow and red colours as Kirsty Wild again just on um, her outside like a Kapeki of Belgium. 
Irene Isabiaga, the uh, Spanish rider, the Spanish Omnium champion, the former junior scratch race champion back in 2011. In her formative years, Ireland, as we mentioned in our intro, have uh, Lydia Boylan, three times an Irish road race champion, and the uh, Ireland national scratch and Omnium champion on the track. This Ireland already celebrated uh, medal success in uh, the titles here this year. And, uh, Mark Downey took in that uh, great bronze medal a couple of days ago. So we'll be hoping that uh, Lydia Boylan can perhaps achieve a similar feat here in this women's point race final, but she's surrounded by very, very tough competitors. Denmark have uh, Trini Schmidt, European points and scratch race champion in 2017. Again, the Evans of uh, Great Britain, a rider who came relatively late to uh, cycling, and she was uh, time trialist predominantly on the road, spotted and uh, recruited by the British cycling team. And we've seen, for the first time, a significant attacking move here with two laps to go to the next sprint. The rider who is driving hard on the front and looking for the opportunity, not only for points, but perhaps to uh, try and instigate a lap gain is Verena Eberhardt, the Austrian point race champion. There she is, number 53 on her back, 81 laps to go. The bell this time will indicate the uh, sprint lap will be contested next time. Eberhardt drifts back and uh, starting to make a move forwards now around the outside. Well, this is uh, the rider from Barbados, Amber Joseph. Amber Joseph, fifth in the Pan American Scratch Race Championships last year. On the line, she took on uh, Kirsten Wilde and beat her. So good score there for Amber Joseph. I was chatting with uh, Craig McLean, who's now the uh, coach at the uh, UCI's World Cycling Centre in Eger in Switzerland, and uh, Amber Jose has been doing some work on the boards of the Egler Velodrome in recent weeks as well. The sole representative of Barbados in these World Championships, and uh, she slots into second place in the standings. In fact, joint first place with three riders on five points. Alexander Manley, Amber Joseph and Lee Evans all have five points so far. We've completed 79 laps of racing in this uh, women's point race final. And there you see Amber Joseph in the middle of your picture. So quite a lot of racing on the uh, roads of Great Britain in recent years as well as Amber Joseph. Uh, she finished seventh, uh, top ten place for her in the Pan American uh, points race in that championship uh, a couple of years ago, back in 2007. And there's confirmation of that most recent sprint result for you. Joseph from Wild, from Manly, from uh, Valente. First uh, score for the uh, silver medal from 12 months ago, Jennifer Valente. Only six riders with uh, points to their name so far. Seven laps away from the next point scoring opportunity. Germany come from the front, that's Charlotte Becker. Charlotte was a bronze medalist in the uh, point race final in the World Cup in uh, Paris at Saint Quentin et Yveline in the World Cup season 2018 2019. And Lydia Gurley of Ireland, Mexico, Germany, also uh, at the head of the race here. This little group has split off the uh, front of what has become a fragmented main field. And towards the back of the race, Kirsten Wilde is uh, amongst the back markers. So too, uh, Maria Gilles Confondieri, the uh, European champion for Italy. She's in that back group as well. Eight riders in the leading group. About to become 12 as Valente gets across to that leading group as well, amongst uh, several other riders. Two chases in the gap and then uh, the other half of the race, as it were, which is being led by Kirsten Wilde. Also in that uh, chase group is uh, Nia Evans of Great Britain, joint leader at the moment with five. She is in the front along with Confondieri. Alex Manley of Australia, current leader. She too is in that uh, group as well. So they need to try and make uh, some progress in closing this gap here because we're only two laps away from the next sprint. This back group can't afford to relax because if they uh, do so following the sprint, that leading group could well look at a uh, sizable number of riders gaining a lap they managed to get across, but uh, they have uh, slackened their pace a little bit and that will give the opportunity for the gap to be closed. It might be too big for uh, Kirsten Wilde to get in with a point scoring opportunity this time. It is uh, points on the line when they come through. Three riders just uh, detached, it's uh, Gurley of Ireland, it's Valenti of the United States and uh, the uh, French rider there with uh, uh, third place in that sprint is uh, Coralie de May. Team Susan uh, Madison medalist during the World Cup campaign. Coralie de May, 
There is that leading group, and you can see it was Lydia Boylan for five, Jennifer Valente with three, uh, Coralie Demay with two, and uh, Charlotte Becker of Germany, one point in that uh, chasing group. The gap that opened has closed following that sprint. And, uh, some big names breathing a sigh of relief there that they have got back into uh, the rear of that group, I'm sure. Kirsten Wilde still in fifth place, four points to her credit. Jennifer Valente still with four points as well. Coralie Demay on two along with uh, Nicole Plosash of uh, Poland. So one point for Charlotte Becker and Alexandra Manley, Amber Joseph, Mia Evans, and now Lydia Boylan. So four riders have the joint lead position. They've all got five points each. Incidentally, if you're uh, wondering what happens if uh, at the end of the race we have riders on equal points in a potential medal position, it's the best placed rider in the final sprint uh, who will take that decision. We uh, saw that uh, split riders in a bronze medal battle a couple of days ago. So once again, a little attacking move begins to be uh, tested here on the front. It's uh, Czech Republic rider Jamila Machikova who was uh, looking to make that move, but uh, Lotto Kopecki of Belgium has uh, come through and taken up the head of the race. Again, a split as Alexandra Mandy finds herself having to chase across to the next little group on the track. That's uh, Machikova of Czech Republic. The Evans has uh, managed to get herself back to the front of the race now. 65 laps to go. Lee Evans, one of those riders who've got uh, that five-point score. As uh, on the front, it is uh, Tony Schmidt of Denmark. And those familiar red with the white band around the centre of the jersey colours. Italy give chase. We've got a kilometre away from the next sprint. And Ukraine, for the first time, begin to uh, show at the head of the race. That's uh, Gana Solovay. The European Games time trial champion from uh, a couple of years ago, where she took a silver medal. So I was in, uh, in Baku in Azerbaijan, if memory serves me correctly. 62 laps still to go. So it'll be the bell next time, the next point scoring opportunity. This time, Kirsten Wilde, no mistake, she's in the front of the race, all together in one big group. Lee Evans just in front of her, Lato Kopecki just behind. So Evans just a little look under her shoulder there to see uh, who the challengers are likely to be. Also uh, looking to get up there as well is the rider from the uh, Russian Federation, uh, Gulnaz Bajikova. But it's between Evans and Wilde and Kopecki at the moment. Switzerland that snuck into that uh, leading group as well for Andrea Voldis. So Lata Kopecki for five, uh, Kirsten Wilde for three, Nia Evans two, and Andrew Voldis with one point. So Kirsten Wilde now moves to the top of the leaderboard. We've got two joint leaders. It's Great Britain's Nia Evans and uh, Netherlands' Kirsten Wilde, the defending champion. Seven points each for them in joint first place, joint third spot. Well, those uh, points now being uh, updated on our screen a little uh, later than uh, the uh, sprint results appeared, so we can correct that for you. It's uh, Kirsten Wilde with a one-point advantage, in fact, ahead of Nia Evans. Nine points for Wilde, eight for Evans, five each for Manley, for Joseph and for Boylan. Uh, Valente on four, Lata Kopecki has two, along with uh, Coralie Demay and Nicole Plaza. The only two of the riders to score, Andrew Wallace in Switzerland and Charlotte Becker for Germany with one point each. We have got 58 laps remaining in this uh, World Championship Women's Point Race Final. So once again, the opportunity to uh, propel herself ahead of the group behind has been uh, taken by uh, Gulnaz Bajikova, bronze medalist in those uh, European point race final in uh, Glasgow, Scotland last year. Rider riding across the gap here as the main field look at each other. It's the uh, Mexican who is uh, about to make contact with the leader. This is uh, Sofia Areola, the uh, runner-up in the World Point Race and Scratch Championships in the World Titles in Minsk in Belarus back in 2013. She has joined the uh, rider from the Russian Federation, uh, Banjakova, at the front. So those are our two leaders. The length of the home straight separates them from the chasing group. And that uh, group of chasers currently being uh, led around the track by uh, Verena Eberhardt of Austria. Kirsten Wilde realises once again that there is a significant split in the group here. We're a kilometre away from the next sprint. Our two leaders 
is rounding corner two. The uh, first of the chasers headed by Italy and the United States. Go into the back straight. Also, there are Austria and uh, Denmark as well. Wilde is uh, trying to get across. So too is uh, Nia Evans. Uh, Nia Evans of Great Britain has left a big gap for her to close here. Three laps to go to the sprint. She's chasing hard. Gurley of Ireland leading the main field through the line. Two laps away from the sprint this time. Our two leaders gradually being reeled in again by the uh, chase group behind. And uh, on the front of that group, currently uh, Trini Schmidt of ah! Denmark. While once again finds herself uh, having got back into the front of that group. Nia Evans also is there as well, but there's still a gap to our two leading riders from uh, Russia and Mexico, Pajikova. Leading this one out as uh, also uh, Ariola looking to try and hang on to her wheel. But look at this big charge here from uh, Maria Giulia Confondieri of Italy. So the Italian looking to make her first impression on this race. The European points race champion is into the finishing straight with five points to her credit now as she crosses the line in first place. Jennifer Valenti of the United States gets three. Sofia Ariola of Mexico two and the Gunas Bajakova gets one as the leading two are caught all back together at the front of the race. There's a split part way down the main field. Two riders off the back. It looks like their race might be run for Germany and Poland, sadly, off the back as well. Well, it looks as though uh, uh, Poland once again have seen their opportunity for a medal uh, denied them as uh, the rider who uh, figured in one of the opening sprints, uh, Nicole Plosash, is about to lose a lap as our leaders come around. When she's caught by that main field, she'll be uh, have a lap taken away from her total and minus 20 points. So the couple of points she had, unfortunately, have now turned into a deficit. And I can tell you the German rider has actually retired. That was uh, Charlotte Becker. So uh, she is out of the race, just riding around the infield here. Meanwhile, on the front, that attacking move for Australia and Hong Kong, China has uh, developed while that uh, lapping situation was going. Alexandra Manley, the uh, Team Pursuit champion this year, has gone away uh, for company. Uh, she has uh, the rider with her from uh, Hong Kong, China. And that is uh, through the line they go. Quen Yu Yang of Hong Kong, China, the uh, Hong Kong Madison Points race champion from last year. And also the Asian and Hong Kong road race champion. Tell you road riders did pretty well here, but Alexandra Manley is in with a really good chance of a lap game. The 20 point scores that go with it will split the front of this classification to absolute pieces. She's getting closer and closer to gaining the lap. Well, an enterprising move here from uh, Alexandra Manley of Australia. Commonwealth Games Team Pursuit Champion is about to be the first rider to gain a lap here. She's onto the back of that field, 20 points added to her total as she rockets to the top of the leaderboard. 25 points now for Alexandra Manley. Kirsten Wilde pushed down to second on nine. Nia Evans third on eight, and Jennifer Valente in fourth place with seven points scored. So Alexandra Manley got on that uh, attempt to gain the lap. Not quite making the uh, junction yet is uh, Quan Yu Yang of Hong Kong, China. Of course, she was away with Manley. She's not far off making the junction, but it's a lap to go to the sprint. And the main field will inevitably increase their pace. Hong Kong China rider has made the lap, though. On the head of the race now, it is Belgium. Through the line we go. 40-lap sprint being contested. Lotta Kopecky gets five. Here's the sprint for the minor placing. Second through the line for Belarus is Ina Zavenka, then Kirsten Wilde of the Netherlands and Jennifer Valente of the United States. That was the top five riders in that sprint. But uh, the key news from the last few moments proceedings are that Alexandra Manley and uh, Quan Yu Zhang of Hong Kong, China, have made the lap. So uh, Alexander Manley has the lead, 25 points. Uh, Quang Yu Yang of Hong Kong, China, is now second with 20 points, both of the lap gain. Kirsten Wilde, 11 points. All of those points coming from uh, intermediate sprint uh, points collected for, by her so far. Last year's silver medalist Jennifer Valente in fourth place on eight, along with Great Britain's Nia Evans. Still on the head of the race is uh, Lotto Kopecky of uh, the Belgian team. And it doesn't look like she will be able to gain the lap because the acceleration has happened here. Lydia Boylan once again from Ireland, along with Nia Evans of Great Britain. Uh, the two riders involved in trying to chase down our lone leader. Polish rider, who was the first to lose the lap there, of course, Polish She's also with them. So I think Nata Kopecki will be best uh, advised just to sit up and wait for them. That's exactly what she does as they go down the back straight. She's not making any ground at all. No point in wasting energy 
trying to gain the lap when you're losing ground. It's better to sit in the main field and take the point scoring opportunities when they come. That's exactly what happens as uh, Kopecky starts himself back in part way down the main field. Three riders ahead of the race. This is a dangerous move because Kirsten Wilde is in this leading group of three. If any rider has got the ability to gain a lap in very, very quick order, it is Kirsten Wilde. And uh, she has also got the, uh, the Danish rider, uh, Trini Schmidt, with her as well. And, uh, they have uh, a small advantage, little chasing group of uh, six riders go off in pursuit as they come towards the line we are four away from the next sprint also in that leading group for, for Ukraine and as they go through Gana Solovai is the rider there who is uh, trying to get some points valuable points next time for uh, Ukraine she is yet to make an impression on the uh, point scoring leaderboard that uh, both Olivia Bolasaita and Charlotte Becker have now retired from the race. Uh, Nicole Plasak, still the only riders who have lost a lap who's still in the race. As once again, the main field comes back together. 33 laps to go this time. There'll be 32 on the line as they go through. Kirsten Wild looking behind. She knows uh, that she needs to score heavily in the next few sprints unless she's able to uh, gain the lap. Um, as the laps continue to tick down, 32 to go this time the opportunity for a lap gain becomes uh, less and less, particularly when you're uh, the defending champion. As we've said in commentary over the last few days, it's almost like riding with a very big target on your back or a big arrow hovering over your head, because that's where everyone looks to see what the world champion is defending her title is doing. And there she is, she's riding alongside her challenger here from uh, Mexico for uh, points on the line. Ariola here taking on Wild for the sprint, but Confondieri coming around the outside for Italy to snatch second place from Ariola. So Kirsty Moll gets five, and Mario Giulia Confondieri of Italy gets three. Sofia Ariola of Mexico two, and Jennifer Valenti of the United States gets one point. So Kirsty Moll uh, drags herself further up the standings. I have to tell you that Poland's uh, Nicole Plossage has retired from the race. So uh, the chance of uh, glory in the point race for Poland, sadly, has uh, come to an end as the rest of the riders continue down the back straight. There's a replay of that sprint. Wild uh, scoring as she needs to do. Ripens and the Evans uh, not quite close enough to uh, pick up points. So of those riders not to have gained the lap in third place onwards, Kirsten Wild, the best place with 16. Jennifer Valente on nine for the United States. The Evans of Great Britain still fifth place, joint fifth uh, with uh, Confondieri of Italy. They've got eight points each. And Lotte Pecky of Belgium has seven. We have got 28 laps to go in this uh, women's points race final. And, uh, well, Kirsten Wild, who just failed in the scratch race to defend her title, is also uh, stirring down the barrel of uh, a potential problem here, unless she can get herself involved in the next couple of sprints. Remember, of course, the uh, final sprint counts for double points. So uh, that may well be the salvation uh, for Kirsten Wild. She's currently nine points off the lead. If she were to win or take a significant score in the next sprint, that would certainly uh, ease her mind a little bit in the uh, battle to retain her title. Seeing three riders uh, once again taking position at the head of the race. Small advantage for them, but uh, the chase group behind, headed briefly by Wild, has got this situation very well under their control. Belarus, Switzerland, Great Britain also up there as well. France getting in the mix too, along with Austria and Spain. Those uh, three leading riders are about to be caught by the main field. We've got five laps to go to the next sprint. Alexandra Manley is the rider on the front. One of two riders in the race with game lap. The other being uh, Yu Zhang of uh, Hong Kong China. She's further down the string. All back together and almost immediately the attacking move happens here. It is Austria who have gone on the attack with uh, Verena Eberhardt, Austrian point race champion. Is Eberhardt? And uh, immediately joined by uh, Belarus. As Arna Savenka, runner up in the uh, European points race final in Glasgow, joins her at the head of the race. 23 laps to go. Our uh, on screen graphic just uh, changes to 22 as they cross the line. So Alexandra Manley will be beginning to be feeling that perhaps uh, Australia are on the way to another gold medal here, but. Uh, Nipping at her heels, slowly climbing up the classification despite not having gained a lap so far is Kirsten Wilde. 16 points for her. These two are off the front, they're going to take the majority of the points in the next sprint. So it becomes more and more likely that if Wilde is to retain her title, she'll need to try and pick up points 
and uh, score heavily in the remaining two sprints. As there are four riders are well off the front. While there's not a challenge for this, he's watching Valencia of the United States as it is Belarus and Austria who gets at maximum points. The Evans of Great Britain gets third and uh, uh, through the line in fourth place uh, to pick up the uh, points in fourth for France was uh, Coralie de May. So it was Anna Savenka with the five, Arena Eberhardt with three. Nia Evans with two and uh, Coralie de May with one point. Those two riders are still the head of the race, Savenka and Eberhardt. Two chasers now are uh, de May and Evans of Great Britain. Campagnari of Italy leading the charge behind that one. Russian Federation making a move forwards as well uh, for uh, Gulnaz Bajikova. Two leaders, again, not, I don't think, with the uh, speed and uh, endurance left in the legs to uh, try and gain the lap. And Confonieri is dragging that main field back up to them again. So still only two riders having gained the lap in this race. Alexandra Manley and uh, Hanju Yang of Hong Kong, China. Those are our leading two riders. 25 points for Manley, 20 for Yang, Kirsty Wall on 16. Nia Evans now on 10 following that uh, two points she picked up in the most recent sprint. And Jennifer Valente, last year's silver medalist, one point behind Evans with nine points scored. 17 laps of this women's points race final remain. Czech Republic start to launch an attack from the underside of the peloton, realising that uh, everyone else is looking at uh, everyone else. And uh, so uh, it is uh, Jarmila Matjakova once again who has launched herself off the front of the race. She is looking for points as well as uh, Czech Republic. Well, they have yet to open their account. So no medal prospect for Czech Republic. I'm afraid, but uh, if she can try and uh, stay clear, but uh, as you would imagine, the main field very quick to uh, pounce on that move as they come through. Looking at uh, Kirsten Wilde again on uh, the screen there, but uh, it is Lydia Boylan of Ireland who has uh, certainly been riding very well here. She's uh, five points in ninth place for Ireland. She's been on the attack on a couple of occasions. But of course, those two lap gains by uh, Australia and Hong Kong, China are the key to the outcome of this race at the moment. We are one kilometre away from the penultimate sprint of this race. Remember, the last sprint counts for double points. So it's Boylan at Vyland at the head of the race. So Gulnaz Bajikova is chasing in second place. Then the main field, headed by last year's champion, the defending champion, Kirsten Wilde of the Netherlands. Lotte Kopecky is there as well for Belgium. Kopecky decides to launch her attack now with uh, three laps to go to the next sprint. Valente on Wilde. Still sitting in that main field, Boylan looking behind, waiting for a Badger Covert to uh, join her. So those two riders are now the leading two, the head of the race on the track. It is still Lotte Kopecky chasing in third place for Belgium. 12 laps to go, two away from the penultimate sprint. The rest of the race is still in stalemate, looking at each other here. And uh, the two riders who've got that lap gain, will be thinking it was a very fortuitous move they made at the right time in the race, because uh, yet again, the riders who really need the points, uh, Kirsten Wall and the Evans, Jennifer Valente, are in that chasing group. And as it stands at the moment, unless they can close the gap, they're going to pick up any points in this final, in this final uh, sprint before the double point sprint, because it's going to be Badjikova and Boylan. Badjikova for five, Boylan for three points. It's going to be Lotte Kopecky for two. And uh, coming across the gap to pick up one point in uh, fourth place will be Anna Savenka of Belarus, Kirsten Wilde. Again, missing out on the score. So did Alexandra Manley. So their relative positions are unchanged. There is only one sprint remaining in this women's point race final. Ten points for the win. Six, four, and two, the way the points will play out. Alexandra Manley on 25 points, tops the leaderboard. Yanju Yang of Hong Kong, China on 20. Kirsten Wilde of the Netherlands on 16. Nia Evans of Great Britain on 10. Lata Kopecky from Belgium on nine along with Ina Savenka and Jennifer Valente. That's the way they stand at the moment as we head towards the uh, final sprint of this race. Eight laps to go, two kilometres remaining. And, uh, well, Bajikova and uh, Boylan, as the main field continue to look at each other, are making splendid progress towards the lap gain here. There are only seven laps to go. The main field were slumbering, and Bajikova and Boylan have got it almost in reaching distance to gain a lap. If they take this 20-point uh, bonus in the final run to the line, again, the whole uh, complexion of this point race will change, and they're going to do it with six laps to go. They're almost on. Kopecky at the back. They make the junction. 
Lydia Boylan of Ireland and Gulnaz Bajikova of Russian Federation gain lap. 20 points they get each. Lydia Boylan goes to the top of the classification. A two-point advantage for Lydia Boylan. Well, Ireland was celebrating that uh, bronze medal for Mark Downey a couple of days ago. You can imagine what will happen if Lydia Boylan takes gold in this women's point race final. There are only five laps to go. One sprint remaining. Gulnaz Bajikova second for Russian Federation. One point behind Alexandra Manley for Australia and uh, Hanji Yang for Hong Kong China in fourth place. Kirsty Wilde still locked on 16 points. Even the 10 points she might get if she wins the final sprint will not displace either. Uh, we won't displace Lydia Boylan from the top. She's got 28 points. This is looking like an incredible result here for Ireland. We've got four laps, one kilometre to go. There has been no shortage of drama in this women's point race at all. Those lap gains have been key to the output of this race so far, but we've still got one double point sprint yet to be contested. Lotte Kopecky goes on the attack for Belgium. She's got nine points. Ten we give her 19. Not enough for a medal. Jennifer Valente moves up. She too is on nine points. Ten points, not enough for a medal. Kirsten Wilde, well, if she can get the ten points, uh, plus the 16 would move her up into a potential second and silver medal position. The same position she was in in the scratch race when uh, Great Britain took the title in that one. And it's all to play for in the final moments of this women's point race final. Two laps to go. Kirsten Wilde comes to the front. If she wants a medal here, she has to get significant points in this final run to the line. Kirsten Wilde on the from Campagnari of Italy in second place, Manley of Great of uh, Australia and uh, Evans of Great Britain are challenging as well. But look out for the riders approaching our words. Lydia Gurley, uh, Lydia Boylan of Ireland is uh, getting up there as well. But uh, Kirsten Wilde is going to get maximum points on the line. Campagnari will get second. Third place will go to Australia and fourth for Amber Joseph of Barbados. So when we do the calculations, I think we'll find that Alexandra Manley of Australia has just edged Lydia Boylan by one point for the gold medal Kirsten Wilde won that final sprint as she had to she was level on points with Gulnaz Magikova remember what I told you at the top of the race if you're level on points it's the best place in the final sprint that counts and it looks as though Kirsten Wilde has taken a bronze medal here Alexandra Manley of Australia is the women's points race champion of the world by one point from Ireland's Lydia Boylan both of those riders gaining a lap during the race. Kirsten Wilde of the Netherlands gets third place and the bronze medal. Gulnaz Bajikova also gaining that lap in the closing stages of the race. She's got 26 points, equals Wilde, but behind her in that final sprint. So Bajikova just missing out on the medal. Kanyu Yang, the first of the two riders to gain a lap. Well, uh, she will finish in fifth place. But Alexandra Manley, who gained that lap with Kanyu Yang of Hong Kong, China, first two riders to gain the lap. Manley picking up third place in that final sprint. And by one point, just enough to deny Lydia Boyle in what would have been an exceptional gold medal, but she'll be extremely pleased with the silver. She can hardly believe it. Kirsten Wilde acknowledging the applause of the crowd here. And that's the second time that uh, Kirsten Wilde has been unable to defend a title at this uh, at World Championships here in Poland. Well, the race decided pretty much on that uh, last minute lap gain. Uh, the medals uh, for Boylan certainly brought about by that. And that earlier lap gain for Alexandra Manley gave her a real stepping stone. And the uh, points in that final sprint reinforcing her gold medal by just one point ahead of Lydia Boylan of Ireland and Kirsten Wilde, our bronze medal winner. So I'm delighted to welcome into the commentary box, just arriving in time to see the finale of what was a great point race final. Once again, uh, Christina Vogel is alongside me in the commentary box. And Christina, what a race that was. That lap gain in the laps, last 10 laps, almost a gold medal for uh, Lydia Boyle of Ireland. The Irish camp will be absolutely uh, beside themselves with excitement on that one. And Alexandra Manley, that lap gain earlier in the race, just a one point uh, win for her, despite Kirsten while not gaining a lap, third place in a bronze medal. But she'll be a little bit disappointed, won't she? Yes, I think I was a little bit disappointed, but uh, I uh, took the time to uh, watch the watch the point race here, uh, not for the commentating stage here. Um, and it, sometimes I always say that the gold medals go to the people who deserve it the most. And uh, yeah, it was an incredible work of Alexander Manley. And uh, even that uh, silver got to an Ireland uh, girl, so I didn't know when it was the last time that they earn a, earn a medal by a world championship. So, uh, yeah, it's a really great effort for, for this company. 
Yeah, it was Mark Downey took the uh, bronze course in the men's point race. So the Irish really uh, did really well in both uh, men's and women's point races, the bronze medal and the silver medal.